Hey guys, welcome to the Level 2 Algebra Skill Series. Uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at discriminant, and this is part 3 of this short little series. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to find values of A, B, and C, given the number of roots. Um, so these are questions that pop up in um, Level 2 exam every now and then, end up being, um, I don't know, borderline achieved merit, depending on the type of equation you work with. So we're going to have a look at a couple of these questions. Right. So if you look at the first question here, what we've got is for what values of k, will the graph will not cut the x-axis. Um, so if it's not going to cut the x-axis, then we know that the graph looks like this. Um, and again, these are rough sketches. So that's what we are looking at uh, for not cutting the x-axis. Now, if you kind of think about this, um, we know that if it's not cutting the x-axis, the discriminant has to be less than zero. So this is something that um, we talked about in the previous um, videos. So the discriminant has to be less than zero. So in other words, b squared minus 4ac has to be less than zero. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually um, get our values for a, b, and c. So kx squared minus 4x plus 5 is our quadratic equation. We've got ax squared plus bx plus c. And what we can see is that a is equal to k, negative 4 is b, and c is equal to 5. So now I need to substitute b squared minus 4ac as less than 0. So I've got negative 4 squared minus 4 times k times c, which happens to be 5. And all of that is less than 0. So expanding the brackets, I'm going to get 16 minus 20k is less than zero and of course I need to get rid of the 16 to the other side which will make it negative 16 and now I've got to get rid of the negative 20 to the other side and if you guys remember from level one that when we were working with inequalities and if we divide by a negative number we need to actually change the sign so in this case it's going to be greater than so basically, at this point, we can rewrite this as uh, negative 16 over negative 20. Uh, that's equal to 0.8. Yep, there we go. 0 0.8 is what we're looking at. Uh, but you could actually just leave it um, straight as negative 16 over um, negative 20 as well. So basically, what we're trying to say is um, if k is above 0 0.8, uh, then uh, then the equation of kx squared minus 4x plus 5 will not cut the x-axis. Cool, so that is basically question A. Now we go to another variety of this question, which is question B, uh, where you're given a quadratic that equals to p, and we want to figure out so that um, this equation only has one real solution. So I guess the first thing we need to do is we need to expand the brackets and rearrange everything so that we have it in that nice quadratic um, equation, general quadratic equation formula. Oh, that's a handful. I think what I was trying to say was um, rewriting it as a general equation of a quadratic. That's the ax squared plus bx plus c. So here we need to expand the brackets. And first up, we've got 2x squared uh, plus 8x. Uh, then we've got negative 1x and 4, which gives us negative 1x plus 4 and all of that is equal to p so then we've got 2x squared plus 7x plus 4 equals to p now remember we need it to look like this which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0 so that right hand side has to be 0 which means we're going to get rid of the p and bring it to the left hand side now when we bring it to the left hand side we're actually going to attach it to the constant because p does not have an x or an x squared next to it um, so it's actually going to sit with um, 4 right there. So then, if we look at this in that ax squared plus bx plus c format, what you should see is that a is equal to 2, uh, b is equal to positive 7, and c is equal to this entire thing, which is 4 minus p. So that's what we have. Now the other thing that we kind of should have done at the start is when we had a look at this part right here, this has only one real solution. Because it's only one real solution, 
we know that we needed to kind of write down b squared minus 4ac. The discriminant had to equal 0. So that's what we're going to do um, down here. So we're going to put b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. Now b is 7, so it's 7 squared minus 4 times a, which happens to be 2, and c, which happens to be 4 minus p. And all of this is equal to 0. So 7 squared is 49. Then I've got minus 8, because 4 times 2 is 8. Uh, 4 minus p is equal to 0. I'm going to get rid of the um, a... What am I going to get rid of? The 49 to the other side, which means I've got negative 49. And then I'm going to get rid of the negative 8. So I've got 4 minus p equals negative 49 divided by negative 8. And I've got 4 minus p equals... Uh, what is this? Yeah, I am liking this new little feature here, 6.125. So negative p is equal to 6.125. Take away 4, and we've got negative p is equal to 2.125. Now remember, it is negative p, so i just got to get rid of the negative to the opposite side, and I'm going to get 2.125. So basically, for this question here, we can say that when p equals negative 2.125, uh, this equation is only going to have one real solution. So now these types of questions, both of these types of questions, I think they should be a merit. Um, you know, again, they, they always seem to surprise us every now and then with the with these types of questions. Um, so yeah, it is something that's worth kind of having a look at. What I'll be doing is um, following this video, I'll see if I can put a couple of um, those excellence questions um, that pop up um, where you are going to end up with like almost um, a, a range of values that you got to figure out but look we'll talk more about that in the next video uh, but apart from that um, yeah this is just covering the basics of finding a b or c given the number of roots Hey guys, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Uh, there should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. Good revision material. And as always, thank you for watching.